know you didn't expect this, but your straw video has gone viral and everyone is using it because it works. There's an immediate difference we feel right after we use this thin straw and many describe it as easier, more resonant, clearer, but can you help us explain why this thin straw works so well? Vocalization through a thin straw puts your vocal folds in the most optimum position and shape for vibration, which encourages efficiency. That's why voicing becomes easier. A better position and shape of the vocal folds helps start a clear, easy sound, especially when the vocal folds stiffen for high pitches or swell due to inflammation. I've shown how vocal folds vibrate by vibrating my lips. When my lips are healthy and barely touching, they vibrate very easily. When they stiffen or swell, they leak too much air. I have to bring them closer together and shape them differently to get them to vibrate easily again. Is that what you mean by optimal vocal fold position and shape for vibration? Yes, and the straw will help you train the intricate muscles of the larynx to adjust for that stiffening to start vibration. When your lips were stiffer, you had to adjust just how they come together. You probably squared them up, which required less pressure to start the vibration. Okay, that makes sense because I felt that adjustment. The vocal folds produce that kind of sound but we know that the sound becomes more interesting as it travels through our throat and mouth. I know you refer to this as the vocal tract. So can you explain why the vocal tract is an important part of simulating the vocal instrument? Sure, the vocal folds produce that simple buzz-like sound like the lip buzz that you just demonstrated. If you compare this with a trumpet, the trumpeter's lips create sound waves or frequencies that are filtered as they travel through the trumpet horn. Both the horn and the human vocal tract resonate and selectively boost sound waves produced by the lips and our vocal folds. The resonance of these tubes allows for the unique sound you hear in both instruments. So why use a thin straw to train muscles into optimal positioning and shape? It doesn't produce a big sound like a trumpet at all. The sound produced when you use a straw is small on the outside, but that small vibration of the vocal fold is ideal for training because it allows you to find optimal positioning and shape before full vibration and collision of the vocal folds take place. Ah, I see. The vocal folds collide hundreds of times a second, so training them without wearing them out is fantastic. But why thin straws? Do they work better? You know, that's fascinated me for the last few decades as I study air pressure and sound waves in the vocal tract by computer simulation. Thinner straws have two benefits. The steady back pressure from a thinner straw resets the vocal fold shape as they vibrate. It separates them at the top when needed and allows you to square them up to lower the lung pressure needed to start vibration. The other benefit of the straw is that it maximizes an interaction between the vocal folds and the vocal tract as sound waves are reflected back to them. This interaction also helps them sustain their vibration. So to sum up, the straw helps train the optimal position and shape of vocal folds without wearing them out. Using thin straws square up the vocal folds so it takes less effort to start vibration and a sound wave interaction between the vocal folds and the vocal tract is maximized to sustain that vibration. These two benefits make your vocal instrument more efficient and produces a clearer, easier, and more resonant sound.